Hello boys and girls. Um, this video is going to be a short and light-hearted one. Um, I will continue my, uh, my work, <laughs> if you will, on set theory foundations and uh, we'll speak about the power set in the way that I did at the end of, of that video here. Um, and so I was writing down algorithms that I will discuss in Python and Haskell and Idris and uh, some subroutines came up and I thought I wanted to do a, a separate video on it. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to write an algorithm that writes all the books, all the books in the world. So uh, more technically speaking, um, if you fix an alphabet, meaning a set of symbols, like for example, all the letters from a to Z and maybe all digits from zero to nine. So that would be 36 letters then. And you also fix a length of uh, a string an expression, say I want to consider strings of length 100. Then you uh, might want to, uh, you know, consider how many uh, different strings are there with this alphabet uh, of this length. and some easy argument uh, tells you that there will be 36 to the power of 100 uh, different strings, right? And so let's fix an, uh, an alphabet of this, in this way. And in this video, we're going to write the, the simple algorithm that just prints out all the possible, all the possible strings, basically all the, you know, if you say a book is um, a sequence of, uh, of characters um, eventually, or some any code, then um, you will find all books in this in this printout of this algorithm. Similarly, if you fix a programming language and consider all the algorithms that are valid, you could also go at this by saying uh, enumerate all the different programs and just keep them th those which are actual programs or well formed. So you might discard some because they're not syntactically correct. But this video is all about. Um, generating all the different <laughs> strings for fixed alphabet. Okay, uh, yeah, so look forward to the power set video as well. Uh, two power set videos actually, um, and subscribe to my channel, blah, blah, blah. And let's get into it. So, um, as always, I'm going to do the coding here and. Um, since it's really going to be just a short one with simple functions, I can do all in one screen. Um, so, okay, works. So what is this going to uh, be about? Well, uh, we're just going to code up one function basically, which I call make words. <laughs> and it's going to be past uh, the symbols, let's say a set of symbols or a list of symbols. And then optionally, I mean, yeah, we can say I want a, a length at which I want to end the algorithm. So I, I will print it in a way that it never stops printing out. Um, but uh, for uh, going the direction of the power set, I also eventually want the function to return. And so I, I add an optional flag that and it enables me to actually break out of the function and return me something. Um, so how does that work? Uh, what does the algorithm look like? Well, so, I mean, uh, you, to describe what, what it's ought to be doing is very simple actually. Like let's say our alphabet is uh, five symbols long. So A, B, C, D, E, let's say. Um, how do you generate all the words that you can build or the strings? Well. Okay, let's say the empty string, if, uh, if you will, is uh, is one valid word, or you can also discard it. Uh, the words with just one character is going to be the words A, B, C, D, E. Easy enough. And then the words with two characters, uh, what are they? Well, it's basically you fix one character as, as a first character, and then you iterate through all five. So. For example, A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E. And then once you have those five, you level up the first character as well. So you go get to B, A, B, 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 C, B, D, B, B, E. 
and so on and so forth and you can easily see well in the end you get 25 uh, words of two characters and then for the um, for three uh, characters in a row what you do is well you fix again the first character let's say a and then you have this 25 there right so a a a a a b and da, 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 and so on and so forth and then you up the first one again so on and so forth and you can see that with three characters you get a five to the power of three so five times five times five and uh this is the description we just need to translate it to some python code here this is basically one line more or less um interesting to see that what uh the the length by by the same token that i just described of uh, possible words with length uh like the number of possible words with length number of uh, characters is going to be the size of the alphabet to the power of the length right so for previously it was if i have five symbols then it's uh, five to the power of how long i want it to be so this is uh, like the interesting ingredient which points us in the direction of the power set which you might know um, has size to the power of size of the set you take the power set off okay well um i i am ranting <laughs> but uh so how do we do that well we are going to collect all the words we call this uh ws like for words we initialize this uh, as a list we start with the 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 empty word so this is going to be represented by an empty list uh, and then i just go with while true so i, I make a particular loop that never ends and, and and so how does it work well at each stage <coughs> i will um take whatever words i've already accumulated right so i, I will loop actually i will say v for v in v's so this is just the identity but then i will add at the end um one character from uh from one, one symbol from the symbols that i i provide so here we have um s for some symbol and this will go uh be talking for four s in symbols um and if you want to be um more careful then we can also wrap this in a set so that duplicated uh, symbols are removed and that's pretty much it <laughs> so this will actually do the trick uh, some uh, words to, to to be said so what is about the length of this thing um, well this is just a comment the the length of uh, ws and each iteration is multiplied by the length of symbols right so because ws gets a w from each ws from the previous iteration but then also for if this is for example five different symbols here you get uh, another word and so by the argument i made before um the total length like um, the actual length of ws at this stage is going to be the length of symbols to the power of whatever iteration you are ah, come on so this is just a node and this is our algorithm i can make a break condition right this is optional if i say if the length of the words like uh, let's say i take the first word in this in this list this will always have a first word because i initiate it like that if this is the actual size of the length so this value um then a break right or instead of breaking i can also just return whatever he's at currently let's do it like this um okay and so to get something uh nice um i will now add some print functions so that once i run this you know let's say i, I run this on um you know here i can take 
this as an alphabet, you know, just A, B, and maybe uh, blank free is what I'm interested in. Um, then I also want to print it. At each stage, I want to print out the result. And for that sake, I will actually write a, a print function. So I will first say uh, print the title, make a function for that and title will depend on those. Um, so this is to do and then also, I don't know, print as a book. Um, and this will just depend on the words that I've collected so far. No. Okay, um, so let's implement those. Let's define uh, print title. Takes symbols, takes length, and this will be just a print statement. Okay, so print all the books using the alphabet so and so and stop at length so and so it's going to be the at each uh, evaluation giving me some information and then let's also write print this book Um, okay, I will I will make this a little bit more fancy. And so, since this is going to print a lot of things, I will actually do some pauses. So I will import the time library to just sleep a, a little bit, and so that the information is not too overwhelming. I will introduce a counter for information's sake. Um, counter, and whenever this function is called, I will sleep for a second. And then, you know, for count words in numerate, I would actually print um, all those all those words separately. So sleep zero dot zero five seconds. Um, raise the counter, and then print something. Um, let's go with. The following so I will first print the counter then print the word then you know, do it like this um, then yeah I don't know print again the counter within within the word length that I chose and actually print this information as well. Format, counter, and then I will join the, this word so it makes it for an actual word. Um, word, count plus one, so it doesn't start at zero and the length of the word. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty much it, what I want to do. Let's give it a try. Um, make words, make words. Uh, 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 <laughs> word is not defined, word. Come on, what am I doing? Length, length. Okay. See, um, so what is happening here? Uh, I, I print all the, the, the possible words up to length three with with, this, um, with these symbols, actually, uh, this is a list of characters I can also, since uh, in Python, the list of characters is 
basically also a string I can also just pass it like that it's the same thing it's a bit, looks a little nicer so um, if I call this function um, let's, let me do this again so he goes through all the possible options right so actually maybe I make a line break there and it might make this a little bit simpler to read mm. let's see whenever I print it as a book so So we see all these blocks, right? So he starts with uh, the length one words. There's just A and B. Then he goes on, count the length two words. He holds the first character and varies the second character. And so there are these four of length two. And then given that here, I mean, what happens here is just this block is just uh, the last two characters here and the last character always varies the fastest and the, the first character varies, varies slowest. So we can also do this with, I don't know, we can do with, um, let's go with XYZ and maybe go up to four. We can also go up to like, I can also leave it and it will just never end. I can also do that, let's do it. So first he does the A, B. And as you can see this way, I can really <laughs> print all, all different words. Like I, I enumerate even the words here. And of course, you know, uh, at this point I can also, you know, always check the words and uh, filter maybe out what I want and um, this simple function right i mean the printing this is just uh just for our sake the whole algorithm is basically just this um this simple loop there okay let's break that um okay so that's how that works um i will finish this video off with a, a, a small silly application right i was talking about uh, power sets um, and I will use in the next video this function um, for one of the implementations of the power set in, a, in an interesting way. And there is also a stupid way to compute the power set, given the, that I have already this function now, right? So because uh, this this thing uh, generates all the combinations, what I can do is I can take this function, um, create a word out of things, create all the different um, words of some length and then just throw away everything that doesn't correspond to a subset so i will actually implement this this is like a very cumbersome way of uh, g getting the power set the power set is the set of all subsets of course if i generate all words there will be a lot of words that have duplicated um, characters and so on and so forth as we saw um, so filtering out uh, this is a very inefficient way of also computing the power set and i try to show you ju this just for uh, completeness sake so i don't have to implement it in the next video because it's like just a stupid implementation um, but nevertheless maybe instructive so how does that work well we say implement the power set we're going to pass a set and our sets will be lists right um, we generate all the subset like all the all the words that you can make from this from this uh, set basically and a subset will never have more elements than a set itself so we can do it, go with uh, length of set here okay um but these words will not all correspond to a subsets right uh, as i said like as we saw here there are some this this word for example is just made from x y and z but it has these duplicated entries and this, this is not a sub subset of x y z so we would have to remove the doubles here so what we will do is we will go through the w uh, ws and cast all the things that are produced there to a normal form and after the normal form some will coincide and then we're just going to throw out whatever is double 
So normal form of the word, this is a small utility function here, return. Um, and we, what, what we are going to do is we, we are going to cast this to a set. So all doubles are eliminated anyway. Then we are also going to sort this set. Um, and then we're going to cast it as a, a tuple because sets of sets are a little bit cumbersome here in Python. Um, so here, this is our normal form. And what will we return? Well, uh, one thing that is to be noted here is that if you compute here all these words, we have we don't uh, return the empty word, right? So we have to start with um, the set that contains the empty word, and that's this here. So this is the empty word. This is a tuple of the empty word. This is a set containing the tuple of the empty word, and we're going to build the union of this with well a set in which we put all the normal forms. So normal forms. And these are going to be applied to WS. All right, so let's try it. Power set, like stupid power set implementation of, I don't know, uh, ABC. Let's call this uh, P. And let's also print this P. Print how long it is. Um, okay, it looks good to me, let's try it. Oh wait, I have to quit, uh, sorry, I have to comment out these, not interesting to me anymore. So, um, what does he do? He does not. Ah, so I have another wrapper here that's unnecessary for the union. So, yeah, and so we see the we get the set of all the subsets as tuples, all, all the subsets of the list with the characters ABC, and the length is, is two. So, that's uh, an uh, indication that it does the right thing, right? Let's just also try it before, so we will get the length 16. Worked out. Okay, so um, I sticked for under half an hour for once. I uh, hope you like this this video. We're going to use this function in the next video, and uh, wish you a good night.